just a little taste of what we about to get into because I had to say it. I cannot allow this shit to be prevalent in summer, okay? Tell a friend to tell a friend. But, um, yeah. It just went up another size and look way more comfortable. What the fuck is the problem? Wear your size. We know that you a big boy. We can see you. It is okay to wear your size and skinny jeans are going out. This is a PSA. Skinny jeans are on their fucking way out. So that means all y'all men stuffing y'all legs and y'all sister pants, y'all can stop. <laughs> She is different. She is creative. She needs a sense of warning when she walks. She loves good music. She is a conundrum. She is hella consistent. She keeps us guessing. She loves you. Okay? She is good at being inappropriate. She has this thing down in podcasting. We in season 20, baby. She fucking gets it. Wagwan, <laughs> my youth. Wagwan. We back. Welcome back to She Gets It Podcast, all right? This is episode one, season 20. Did you miss me? <laughs> 19 seasons were fun. The 19 seasons were fun. But we on to bigger and better things in 20, okay? Season 20, what's good? What's new? Me, of course. Your girl is 36, okay? It's a new month. Me, doing me, and me, and maybe some of y'all, because I do have some collabs coming up, okay? This season will be some conundrum titles, okay? Reassurance for men, reminiscing on things, building yourself up, of course, body talk, and more. And of course, you know, I gotta add in my little sex ships, in a way. Uh -huh. I got a new segment for y'all. I still got table topics. And I'm going to run through on some, you know, hot season tips, some June tips, some summer tips. Because y'all be wildin' when it gets hot. Y'all wildin' anyway, but y'all be wildin' when it gets hot. So let's talk about it. Welcome back. Okay, so let's leave a review. All you have to do is scroll down. And then you should go right here. This is from my phone. Um, not exactly sure how to do it in the computer. If you need me to take a video that way, just let me know. So you tap rate. Then you click write a review, which is right underneath that. And this is mine. So you'll put a title there and then you'll put um, the description there. Then you want to make sure that you take a screen grab of it. If you're on your iPhone, it is the button on the right and the top button on the left, at least for the most uh, recent iPhone. And then that will get saved to your photos. Um, you definitely want to make sure that um, you do it before you send. Otherwise, it goes into a gray area. For so this is for people who have been asking us, oh, we want to leave a review for your podcast, but we don't know how. This is how you leave a review for us. Let's review a review. This is a new segment right here. I added a review segment because I want listeners to tell me their thoughts. I want to know what you think because what you think matters and I appreciate your time listening to this show. So the review section will be me picking a new review of this season off of Apple I don't even know how you can see your reviews on Spotify because I can't get to it. I don't know how you get to it. And I'm going to try to research to find different reviews that are new, that are current, and read them on the show, okay? You can ask me questions. You can give me feedback, good or bad. And I want to answer it on the show. Put a name on there that you can identify with. It doesn't have to be your real name on your id it could be whatever name you make up because i know that my podcast for she gets a pod shows up twice cozy moon podcast shows up twice that's a war between apple and spotify because i told them hey go ahead and fix that they're like oh no that's apple's problem oh no that's spotify's problem so they don't want to solve it so if you see it on there both i don't care which one i'm gonna look for the most current one 
and I'm going to read it on the podcast for each episode that I do. Okay, I appreciate all of them. I want new reviews. Thank you. I'll read them here. Now, let's get into this new table topic stack. <laughs> so I got new table topics. I have the table topic saver. You can find it on tabletopics.com. And if you're looking for a discount code, you can still use Shambi Podden to get 15% off. Okay, you can find table topics on IG, Facebook, and on TikTok. All right, first question. If you opened a restaurant, what kind of food would you serve? I am a breakfast lover. I know some people don't like to eat breakfast, but I would serve different cultures um, breakfast. So, like, the menu would have, like, a south, um, a south of the border breakfast section. It would have a very Texas breakfast section. It would have a California-like breakfast section. section. It would have a up north breakfast section. It will have a, um, a Chinese type of breakfast a Jamaican type of breakfast. Can you imagine what that restaurant would be smelling like? Oh my God. It would be amazing, but it would be all types of breakfast. It would be 24 hours and it would be like on some chill shit. Like the whole setup would be like a kitchen type shit, not a dining room, not a table. Like you could sit at like a kitchen bar or you can sit at a table that looks like it should be in somebody's granny's kitchen and it just be like really diverse and you'll have options on what you want to eat but it'll be all breakfast shit yes that's what i will serve okay next question what's the best wine you ever tasted i don't know because i'm not a real wine taster i've gone wine tasting in connecticut i've gone to different places to taste wine. I don't have a favorite drink. Yes, I am 36 and I do not have a favorite drink. But I do um, enjoy mojitos. Different mojitos. I already told y'all I turn into like a 95 pound white woman when I drink. Like I need to be at home. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but no, I don't, I don't know how to answer that question because I don't have a favorite wine. But that is the savor stack. It's basically all about food. So if you're a chef or you always have people at your house to eat, I think this is a great cute stack to go ahead and put in your selection of um, conversation starters. And that is on tabletopics.com. Don't forget to use my code, Chevy Podden. Let's get into this episode. I miss you guys. <laughs> Let's talk summertime tips because y'all be acting a fool. Okay, what's going on in June? Basically, it is Pride Month. My birthday was on the 4th. Um, it is also Men's Health Awareness Month. Take y'all asses to the doctor. Check on y'all blood pressure. Um, check on why your back is hurting. Maybe you full of shit. When your lower back is hurting, it's usually... You're constipated and you're full of shit. You need to go ahead and do a, a cleanse. Um, y'all need to lower y'all red meat intake, okay? Shout out to all my vegan, beautiful black men out here. I see y'all skin to be popping. It is also Gun Violence Awareness Month, okay? I am a gun owner and I do believe that you should be hella responsible when you have a gun. Do not whip out your gun unless you're going to directly use it. Okay, once the guns come out, no more talking, okay? Y'all just keep y'all head on a swivel, all right? Alzheimer's Awareness Month. Most people don't know that, but your blood type tells you what's your most common disease that you may develop. Please go check your blood type, know your blood type. Go to your doctor, do all your checkups, take your vitamins, eat your greens, grow your own greens if you can. Start being healthy, okay? Be choosy on what water you drink. Lower your alcohol intake, all of that. 
It is also Immigrant Heritage Month, okay? Shout out to all the immigrants that make my life amazing, that go ahead and pick my veggies and my uh, fruit that I get at the farmer's market that make the best uh, foods, in my opinion, okay? Um, come up with the best sauces, in my opinion, okay? Both of my parents are immigrants from Jamaica, Kingston to be exact, all right? Huh. You better give us our props. Also, June is the longest month of daylight hours. That means make the most of it. Go outside and get you some vitamin D, okay? And June 1st is Global Day of Parents. Whatever the fuck that means. I just feel like people be making up different holidays and shit in the month. And I'm every year I feel like I find me a new one. But that's what's going on for June. It's summertime. But let's get some things straight. Y'all still got to work. I'm sorry. Y'all still got to work. We're not all rich. Okay. And if you were not rich. But you fucked rich. And now you have a baby by somebody that's rich. And y'all ain't married. You still not rich. Okay. You're just in a better position for right now. <laughs> Bills are still due. I think trips are fun. But you need to get three things straight. Okay, there is before trip money that you need, there is during trip trip money that you need, and there is after trip money that you need. People be forgetting the fact that you should be buying items for your trip probably two to three months before you know your trip is coming up, right? And you still gonna pay bills with that money, right? And then before your trip comes, you should have money set aside of what you're going to spend while you're out on that trip. But you should also prepare for the fact that you took time away from working and making money to go spend money. So when you come back, you ain't going to have new money coming in. You got to know you got money set aside to pay the bills that you have coming up because you are out of town, out of country, spending money. I don't know why people don't get that in their heads. And I need people to stop inviting their broke friends or their friends that cannot financially figure out how much uh, they need to pay at the restaurant from what they ate, gratuity, and taxes, okay? If you have that type of friend, you need not to be going nowhere where it's one ticket, all right? Let's not make the restaurant lose their shit when it's time for y'all to pay. Also, if you go on a road trip, you better pitch in for gas, okay? Or take turns driving. And if you can't do that, that's fine. Go ahead and take the bus or the plane. I just can't stand people that's always bumming a ride to go somewhere on a trip knowing they ain't got no money, knowing they not trying to help it with snacks, No, they ain't got no money towards gas, and gas is high as fuck. So when y'all choose y'all group of friends that y'all travel with, be smart about it. If you choose a friend that always has to carry the drugs in their pocket but don't say shit and you get pulled over and you find out that this is in the car, that's your problem for taking that friend. If you travel with a friend that know they're not supposed to bring their tools with them and they take their tools with them and it's in your car and that car is registered in your name and you are driving it, that's on you. Pick your people wisely, okay? Hood boogers can't go everywhere with you. Okay, know how you're mixing your friend groups also, all right? Please be mindful of kids playing in the street. Please be aware of your surroundings at all time. Do not allow your kids to walk alone or roam stores by themselves. Child abduction is high as shit right now. Women are still being trafficked and kidnapped. Men, there, there are people ready to sell your organs. All right, so just don't think just because you a man, that's not going to happen to you. A lot of y'all men are tiny, okay? We see the skinny jeans, all right? You could get snatched up too. Don't play, okay? Be aware of your surroundings. A whole bunch of black men, you know, riding in a car with loud music and smoking. Y'all are a target. I understand that you want to have a good time, but y'all are a target. You have to be mindful of what scenario you're creating, okay? Don't be leaving your kids in cars. 
Don't be leaving your animals in cars rolled up. You do not have a Tesla, okay? Don't be drinking and driving. Who text me? Let's juice the toy. Don't be um, eating and drinking from everyone's house, especially if they have pets, because some people just don't have no goddamn manners, okay? Hot weather is not excuse to stink. Let me say this again. Hot ass weather is not an excuse for your ass to be stinking. Look at my mom texting me from JA on her phone working today. <laughs> um, she's getting annoyed. She said, let me read y'all my mama's text. She said, hey, just checking in. Everybody is hunting me down because I haven't gone to Kingston yet. But I'm not ready yet. But I am fine. Okay, cool. I know when my mom don't want to be bothered, but she does. She doesn't have the personality to be like "fuck off," but I do. Um, hold on, y'all. Sorry, I'm not one of those people that can talk and think at the same time. Um, what else? Yeah, please wear deodorant, carry baby wipes. Um, women, especially thick thigh women. The pussy is going to make the bodysuits hot, the drawers hot. Um, if you're wearing a dr certain type of dresses that cling to you, sometimes just don't wear the drawers. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to wear the drawers, you know what I'm saying? Um, jeans, make sure that they're like not heavy, thick jeans. Change your drawers often. Uh, do not create a bakery in your crotches. I'm just saying, like, change your drawers often. I know I do. Keep it fresh. Please wipe under your titty creases because titty sweat is real. They have body deodorant. They have deodorant for your butt. So you don't have that line of sweat where your butt cheeks are. Um, please do not put your purses on the floor at restaurants, please. Please watch your drinks. All right? Do not drink sloppy with people that you work with. If you uh, break up with a person, please stay broken up. Break up vengeance is real. All right. If it doesn't fit in the store and it doesn't look good in the store, please do not proceed to buy it and be like, oh, I'm going to lose weight to get in this. I'm here to tell you that you're not going to lose a weight to get into that one outfit. You're just not. Okay. When you lose a weight. You may return back to the store and buy that item. But a lot of y'all look like busted biscuits in y'all outfits. And I am sweating and I am scared for that button on your shirt. And I am sweating and I am fearful of that zipper on the side of y'all dresses. Please wear what fits you. When I see men... And clothes that fit them and I ain't got to look at their drawers and they comfortable in their shorts or they comfortable in their polo or they comfortable in their t-shirts I like that shit and a lot of y'all men walking around here with a super Buddha a super Buddha is where you look like you 10 months pregnant in a t-shirt when you could have just went up another size and look way more comfortable what the fuck is the problem wear your size we know that you a big boy we can see you it is okay to wear your size and skinny jeans are going out. This is a PSA. Skinny jeans are on their fucking way out. So that means all y'all men stuffing y'all legs and y'all sister pants, y'all can stop. Okay? This is not ballet. We do not want to see men in tights and jeggings. Grow the fuck up. Take y'all skinny ass legs and put them in some denim with room in it, all right? And if you have not been in the sun enough, please remember that when you put on shorts because a lot of y'all legs is, is very light as hell than the rest of y'all body, okay? Take your asses to the beach, but the beach is not bath water, okay? If you did not shower prior to going to the beach, be mindful. Do not sit your ass in that sand and then wonder why two weeks later you still itching, okay? People piss in that sand. People throw up in that sand. People shit in that sand. People fuck in that sand. I know, sounds horrible, but just please be mindful of where you put your private parts 
uh, please be mindful that there are still dirty police around you. Please be mindful that when you, when a man is like, hey, girl, give me your number, bitch, just give it to him. Give him the number and you can block him later, okay? Save your life because these men out here these days, most of them are very fucking insecure. They be embarrassed when they get told no and they will hurt you and whoever you with just because you told them no or because you were talking to them and then you rolled up your window. They will follow you. They will tailgate you. They will break check you. All this extra ass shit. Women will do it too. There are some bitter women out here that think all men are supposed to like them and want them. And when you don't, they act a fucking donkey. All right? You have June, July, and August. Please live through it. All right? Do not blow all your money just because it's not outside. Do not blow all your money on a bitch that don't like you. Do not blow all your money on a man that does not deserve your time and your effort. And if he can't make you come, bitch, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. If I could get off better than he could get me off, ain't no way. All right? And I really feel like there's another level of covid on the way so please also prepare for that shit okay please also put money to the side for shit also and if shit ain't on netflix that you want to watch cancel that hoe if shit ain't on hbo that you want to watch cancel that hoe if shit ain't um on showtime that you want to watch cancel that hoe these companies are trying to recoup money that they should have got a long time ago when they were lowering their fucking prices. But a lot of that bullshit on them streams ain't shit anyway. Because I can't find shit to watch. And shout out to everybody that went to go support um, Little Mermaid. Arya loved it. She was telling me all about it. I might put a clip of it in this episode at the end. <laughs> she was like, it's the first time I ever went to the movies. No, it wasn't. Y'all just don't sit through the movies, so I don't take y'all no more. Y'all not about to waste up my coin. But that's my summer tips, okay? The books are still available on lulu.com for podcasting, your podcasting journal, where you can put your podcasting questions, and how you could go ahead and set up your TikTok, your IG, your merch, and setting up your Instagram, okay? Visit me at shanbepodden.com, C-H-A-N-B-E-P-O-D-D-I-N podcast questions dm me okay promotion opportunities email me she gets it at gmail.com and you can find me on tiktok ig twitter and stereo at shambi Potten. i appreciate y'all welcome back to another great motherfucking season with me okay because i get that shit i understand we all different but we gonna make it through welcome back to she gets a pod <laughs>
But it said 4.30. Should have been like 4. Is there something? Like 4.40. With the time? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. It's because the ads need to be knocked out. <laughs> Mm. But it does make sense, so you don't have no ads in the movie. Yeah. That's what I was just going to talk about. Bye. Girl! Bye, Ari. <laughs>